well, slow or fast foxtrot, I guess. Um, it's it's fun to move around fast, is what I'm going to say. Like being able to being able to travel, being able to swing. Obviously, you start getting the character of the quick step and really moving around the floor and mo- with as much power as possible. It's it's really fun. It's hard to pick between Paso and Jive. The more I do Paso, the more I enjoy it. But I think, but I suppose I'd probably have to say Jive, just because I've done it that much more. And the reason I like Jive is it's really fun. It's lively. It's it's energetic. It lets me express myself in quite a quite a fun way quite a fun loving way I first went to university in 2011 I studied engineering um, one of my regrets is that I focused exclusively on the sciences I think I would have benefited from doing some more humanities arts subjects at sixth form level my my physics teacher hilarious guy uh, Labour MP candidate for Bromsgrove couple of elections always very supportive of me doing physics at university. And I think I would have enjoyed physics, but in the end I I set on doing engineering. I felt I could do more with engineering. Engineering is a very very much about solving problems and that had always been what I enjoyed the most. I enjoyed them. and then I worked for three years. Um doing various things a lot with the um, at the time deputy director he's now at uh, Kidderminster Town Council before that he was head of regeneration for Birmingham City Council so he'd been to the new jewelry, the jewellery quarter and seen a lot of those that stuff there he was responsible for that and he was a big influence on me as well um, like certainly on who I am as a person and how I act in a work environment I was also working as in Stratford upon Avon as an architectural technician, a plan, sort of planning consultant. Um, but that was interesting. And then I eventually decided I want to get back to university because I wanted a master's. Well, I didn't. Well, did I want a master's? I don't know. I thought I wanted a master's. But it was, I came back to study electronic computer engineering at a master's level. A lot of the stuff I was interested in at that point, like electro- electronics is still pretty cool, but the skills I'd learned the previous years and the stuff I kind of wanted to spend more time on was kind of designing and, and operating systems, digital systems. I did a lot of dancing as well, but I also did, did a degree <laughs> somehow. And I graduated in December with a master's. And they asked me if I considered doing a PhD. I got about four months into my PhD before I ended up being seconded by Network Rail, so it's not, it's not going to be permanent, it'll be a few more months. The systems elements of it are quite are quite cool. There's a lot of cool stuff going on, and it is interesting, and a lot of, a lot of software projects, the software, and uh, you, you're, you're, not, you're working with kind of fictional invented systems, so being able to work with actual real information it's quite cool and I suppose that kind of keeps it, it, it still comes back to the same problem solving Nottingham Varsity that's my favourite varsity comp but there's so many fun good fun competitions um, but with Nottingham particularly the the floor is good it's a decent sized space there's a good number of teams there the competition itself is well organised and it still has a bit of fun in it. A lot of varsity comps are just crazy. Just go, 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 do all sorts of things. So, um, yeah, I think Nottingham Varsity has to be. Something I always wanted to do, or at least to be able to do. I wasn't necessarily thinking about competing. I wasn't thinking about even carrying on, other than the being, I'll just go there and I'll learn to dance. And throughout my life, I've tried to do interesting things. I tried not to just... I, I try. I try not to limit myself. I suppose a better question would be: Why did I stay in ballads? 
I mean, the, the main reason I actually stayed at all and made an effort to continue coming was Matt Henley. I don't think if it was if it wasn't for Matt, and he's a phenomenal, phenomenal person. I don't think if it wasn't for Matt, I wouldn't I wouldn't still be dancing. I wouldn't I wouldn't have stayed beyond the end of October. Realistically, I'm not particularly t- don't particularly think much about like having to be a certain way or to fit in or anything but um, like Matt really made me feel welcome and since then a lot of other people have made me feel welcome and I hope I can do the same for anyone else who wants to join in the future My fondest memory is actually the um, 1920s party 20s, 30s and 40s party that I hosted here back in um, October. It was really fun to have so many people come and, and have a good time and and I put a lot of planning in for it. I Obviously all the music, all of the uh, drinks and food and um, etc. And it was, it's just nice to have it be worth it. So I'm not actually a Strictly fan, <laughs> which I know, burn me, burn me at the stake, whatever. Uh, whenever I go and see the family, which these days is unfortunately not at all, but we're all, we always get, me and mum always get talking about Strictly because obviously she's a massive fan. And I've seen quite a lot of, um, a lot of clips of the dances. I enjoy the dances, of course, like I'd happily watch the dances, but this, this season I've enjoyed, oh, what's his name? The guy that um, I think he I think he ends up winning. I enjoyed a few of his dances. It will probably be a jive. No, I really like Dear Future Husband. That's a really fun one. Megan Trainor. Um, they're the one. Oh, the other one as well is Ooh, baby, I just want you to dance with me tonight. That's also a good one. It's gonna be one of those, I think. And obviously, rock and roll as well. Rock and roll's an, an easy answer because but we do rock and roll. So I've. I've gone out of my way to try quite a few styles. Like I've done, I've done hustle. I've done um, West, western swing. I've done Argentine tango. And Lindy hop. Lindy hop's really fun. I definitely want to get back to doing Lindy hop. Um, on oh, salsa, of course. We love salsa. I didn't know what a vine was before I did this, and I had to look it up. Um, I can't say that I've ever seen a vine or would know how to find one. So. I feel this question's a bit of a doozy for me. <laughs> Home for me is actually pretty close. I was actually born in the Birmingham Children's Hospital. I lived in Bromsgrove for that time, 25 years. Now I actually live in Birmingham, so. And that song would be uh, She's Leaving Home by The Beatles on Sgt Pepper album. And I think to me it's such a beautiful expression of emotion. Things can go, things can go wrong for you if you if, even if you don't do anything wrong but it would probably be Brazil by Terry Gilliam like 1984 but if the bureaucracy was incompetent rather than malicious <laughs> this is this could so easily be the UK in going through that movie and of course it's got a fantastic samba aquarella de Brazil which is of course the famous Brazilian um, Brazilian song so even better, it's even vaguely dance related. It's not really entirely fair, but for ballroom it's tango, and for Latin it's samba. More because I don't think I'm very good at them, particularly than not enjoying them. It would have to be, it would have to be Strictly. Um, so I hosted, I hosted Strictly in December, and that was really fun. That was, that was again a good, a good experience. Get up in front of a crowd and uh, make a fool of myself. I do it so well. I don't know. I've done a few things. Fencing. I used to fence when I was younger. Um, yoga. I joined yoga at first. I used to do quite a bit of yoga. Oh yeah, folk society. Horse Mountaineering Club, the UBMC. That's a really good club. <clears throat> really, really good amount of experience in that club. Really well organised for a university mountaineering club. The sailing club. Anything else? Weightlifting. Yeah, this year I joined weightlifting. That's fun. There's some, some cool people there. Uh, DCL, of course. Um, salsa. So, yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's all the societies. As you get more and more responsibilities, you have less less freedom. I'd like to have found more people 
that bring me great joy in life. As long as I'm still, as long as I'm still being myself, then I, what happens? Well, we'll just wait and see. It's not necessarily something that should come naturally to me. There's a certain, it's, you're meant to be someone that struggles with social situations. For these days, I don't really think about it very much. And it certainly doesn't affect the things I do. At least I, don't, I try not to let it. Um, that being said, I don't like to have any excuses. I think if I make a mistake, I'm, I'm entirely responsible. I can't blame any kind of psychiatric condition or or um, or, or whatever. Like it's, I don't like to make excuses for myself. But maybe part partly due to the due to the ASD. Uh, that being said, I don't feel now it prevents me from doing stuff. I feel that, I like to feel anyway, that I can go into a room, meet new people, and they won't have any clue that I might be on the autistic spectrum. And dance is, again, a part of this. It's, <clears throat> it's, it's greatly, greatly improved my confidence. And performance hasn't, performance hasn't be, always been difficult for me. I've always been able to do it. Um, I suppose it's more, it's more that fear of doing it, but that fear is entirely natural. I don't feel that fear is any anything that ASD may, means I have more or less than anyone else. And and for anyone else that's on the statistic spectrum, I can recommend dance. And many of you may uh, that are on the spectrum may may already may already know what I mean when I say that it's. It's a way of expressing yourself, um, and it allows you to be somebody else, in a way. And and I've always, I've always, I've always liked that. I try and I try and make it me as much as possible, and I and I try and express who I am, and and I and one thing that again some people don't like is I I don't um, try and change who I am just to suit other people because I am I am me I like if people don't like that then who cares and I and I like who I am and I think that's the hardest thing I think liking who you are and and um, wanting to be yourself I think these are quite difficult things and I'm fortunate that I've come to come to realise that. A few years ago, I probably wouldn't have done. Um, because, well, I'd have got too much in my head about, about it. So, just relax, really. <laughs> Life's too short to worry about how other people perceive you. I hadn't, I never, I never really thought I'd, at this point, want to uproot again and move a long way away. And Birmingham's kind of a, was a logical choice, so it's and I've I've know I know the campus well, I know Sally Oak, I know Birmingham well. I remember before the bypass was built, before the when when the Sally sausage used to be here. So it's a, it's a, it's a good university. It's I enjoy it a lot more than Durham. I have to say. For live celebrities, I think Keanu Reeves. Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks would be fun. The Queen would be good fun. This Prime Minister, whose name escapes me. She seems really cool, I'd have her over. Bernie Sanders, Jess Phillips, Paul McCartney, Carol Vorderman, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lady Gaga. Oh yeah, and Pope Francis. Yeah, that would, that would, that would be good, that would be, my, that would be my, my 12 people, including me. So if I can include dead people, Jesus, Jesus would be welcome. John Lennon. That'd be an interesting conversation. Oh yeah, Martin Luther King. We'd have Kennedy over. Kennedy would be welcome too. Ah, oh, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt, definitely. Ray Re represented in men though, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, Sandy Denny. Amelia Earhart. Elvis Presley. Elizabeth I. Kirsty McColl would be quite fun. And K-Star. Thanks for listening. Oh, while well, I drop everything. <laughs>